marching steps in unison of rugged battle hardened veterans better looking than you or any of your friends an army led by an amazing king if you're lucky he'll let you kiss his pinky ring master of collages half werewolf half viking we love to destroy all of the work you do where we go it's sure massive damage ensues we never accept rooms without really nice views and we all have impeccable fashion taste too Vikings rule. Overflow with our tremendous libidos And all the girls love us We're the greatest heroes Go fish. Ow, we saw playing go fish an hour ago. This is part cheesy. Oh yeah. What is wrong with you lately? <sighs> I'm sorry girls. I just got a lot on my mind. What are you thinking about Al? Is it your tax returns? No. Is it what you're getting us for Christmas? Yes. No it's not, it's that damn hockey pool again. Al, I thought you vowed never to play fantasy hockey again, because the rules in that pool are so stupid. Your team is consistently the greatest, and you're always getting screwed around by Emberg's bullshit. I don't want to talk about this. We all know what happened last year. You would have beaten everyone. You should have won it all, without one bad week at the end. At least Dan Emberg didn't win. That was thanks to you, Al. You sacrificed yourself so nobly. How was it again that your defeat caused Emberg to fall? Don't worry about the details. The important thing is, we're proud of you. <sighs> Thanks, girls. That means a lot, but I just don't know anymore. Maybe you should just give up all this fantasy hockey business. It's kind of just a gigantic fucking waste of time. How can you say that? You don't even watch any actual games anymore. What is the point of all this? 
What are you doing with your life? I don't know. Master! I know you're depressed! I'm also by my freshmen's. Aww. Aww. Oh, thank you, Igor. Master! I know life is horrible right now, but look on the bright side. You still have your health. Get out of here, Igor! Yes, master! Thank you, master! You know, maybe you can channel your energy into more notable pursuits. You're an incredible lover, Al. Why don't you become a real gigolo? That is a good idea. So then just give up all this fantasy hockey business. I don't know if I could do that! It's been over a decade now. All us GMs are connected in this weird symbiotic relationship. They may be my mortal enemies, but I do enjoy pestering them. You did have those lovely fitness ads. And you do take pleasure in harassing the office drunk. One from Al. What does he want? Memo for the office drunk. Someone very meanly suggested that I have an older team. We all know I've got a stable full of young studs, but to prove my point once and for all, may I suggest the office drunk sobers up for seven minutes and puts together one of his little pieces on statistical wonders. Outlines the average age of each team and who is the best? Make sure to give me full credit for this idea. Alexander Ranke, CEO and President, the Werewolf Vikings Hockey Club and Registered Political Party. Yeah, there are still good times, but it's just... This year, nothing's gone right. I'm, I'm so close to just blowing it all up. This is an unprecedented year. There you are in the basement. Well, that fresh, young libertine, Daniel Taylor, is leading the league. Or, as he's better known, Thing 2. Oh, he's so dreamy. His team, Tom Selleck's mustache, was just awful when he joined. But his great hockey acumen and nifty trades have brought him to the top. He's harnessing the Selleck magic. That's the one thing I can't defeat. Well, it's a tough start, but you've made some unbelievable moves over the last little while. You managed to get classic werewolf Viking player Blake Wheeler. That was amazing! I still can't believe you pulled that one off. God, you're a full-blooded masculine man. But you did also trade Kuznetsov for Lucic. Don't bring that up. Lucic is a... Great player. A werewolf viking through and through. But Kuznetsov had like a hundred points since then. I need to go get some air. I'm sorry, Al. I didn't mean to bring up that massive boner you pulled. It's okay, I... I just need to do a little soul searching.
I have summoned you here to impart upon you a lofty Earl's task. Are you the spirit of werewolf vikings past? Yes, I am the spirit of werewolf vikings past. Hear my sacred commandment. Tell me! You must rise up, O oh Alexander the Great, from this horrible start to the season. Only you can pull off such an unprecedented feat and return us to glory. To reclaim the werewolf vikings' rightful place in Valhalla, proud amongst the stars. But that's impossible! Suck it up, Buttercup. It is not impossible for one of great determination and boundless inner strength. For you are the Chosen One. I knew it. Now go, and do whatever you must to return this franchise to its splendid magnificence. All right, spirit of werewolf vikings past. I won't let you down. There's one more thing. I know Lucic is one of us, but I can't believe you traded Kanetza for him. Madness. No one can make the playoffs in last place. It's impossible. You just watch me. Al, we all love you, but this is crazy talk. No more crazy than I've ever been. I am so confident I even made a bet with Dutka that I'd make the playoffs. Are you sure that's a wise move, Al? Remember the last time you made a bet? I can't read that. Oh. Tyler is better than me at everything except picking up random women and growing facial hair and catching and spreading diseases. Uh, don't! No, I can't! Uh, uh. No! No more humiliation! Uh. You know what? This is making me angry! Werewolf Vikings rule! Fuck you, Tyler! That's not gonna happen. This time it'll be the other guy reading the humiliating note. If you say so. Trust me, ladies, I know just what it's gonna take. 
I just need to make a few sweet trades. Okay. <laughs> oh, hey Jeff. Hey Al. Fuck off, brother. Is my thoughts. Seeking attention, poison is my production. They call me the king of destruction. What are you doing over there, Jeff? Oh, you know, buddy. Just the usual. Quiet night in. The king of destruction! Uh huh. Hey, listen. We need to. Hey, man. You want to come over and watch some corner guests and get drunk? I can't right now, Jess. We need to negotiate a big trade. Oh, all right. Let's see if there's something we can't do. Sorry, Al. I don't think there's anything we can do. I've examined everything pretty closely here. My team is a fucking disaster. Oh, yeah. Well, thanks anyways, Jeff. You'll get back on top someday. Hey, you sure you still don't want to come over and... An inauspicious start. Don't worry, Al. There's lots of GMs to go. You can do it. We believe in you, master! Shut up, Igor! Yes? JM, the GM. Al, my old friend. What can I do for you this storied summer's eve? Jonathan, I need to make a big play. I'm going for it all, and I thought we could work out a blockbuster deal. Ah, a spectacular hockey trade, eh? Those are my specialty. Why don't we swap some high-value assets, then? As you know, Meekin's menace could always use a little more grit. Well, I do have a lot of grit to spare. Splendid. Then perhaps you could find a way to give up one Brad Marchand? <sighs> JM, Marchand is the heart and soul of my team. I foolishly gave him up a couple years back and I had to move heaven and earth to get him back in the fold. I'm sorry, JM. There's just no way I would ever give up my baby Marchand ever again. I can understand your position. Perhaps this discussion is wont to take another route. Perhaps. What strange times we find ourselves in. The world seems upside down to some, heading for unknown waters to many. But upheavals are afoot. I... As we roll along with the endless cycles of the age, and there the werewolf Vikings are, continuous contenders for the crown, hardy stock of superior caliber, now adrift and marooned amongst the wasteland's weeds. In times like these, hard choices must be made, and no sacrifice is too great. It calls upon the sturdiest to summon the will 
and make the hard choices necessary to survive. What do you want, Jonathan? Blake Wheeler. <laughs> need to make a big trade. Al, I'm kind of busy right now. Can this wait? No! Al, I know you fell on your sword so I could win the championship last year. I couldn't have done it without you. You know, not many fantasy hockey GMs would make a sacrifice like that. You know, I really respect you, Al. Yeah, I really think you're a terrific guy. We all know this already, Scotty. What I need from you is some hot, prototypical werewolf viking players to augment my already illustrious core. Oh, I'm sorry, Al. You know me. My team's full of a bunch of stupid babies who couldn't hold a candle to the werewolf vikings. Yeah, you're right. Well, thanks anyway, Scotty. Girls, this is just not working. Do you need a break? No, I should, I should really press on. Why don't we all have a nice relaxing bubble bath? I really should, yes. All right, I'll try Trev. Hello? Trev! Hi there, Al. What can I do you for? I need that German stud dry sidle. Ice Nowitzki? Oh, uh, I don't know. He's quintessential werewolf viking stuff and he doesn't belong on your boneheaded roster. Well now, Al. Neon Leon's quite the legacy pickup. I don't know if I could let a guy like that go. Listen, you ogre. I want Dreisaitl and I want him now! Well, when you put it that way, we could probably work something out. Alright. What the hell do you want? Well, it's gonna take quite a bit to get the Deuceland Dangler. I'll give you a fifth round pick. <laughs> oh, I think it's going to take a little bit more than that. Okay, make it a third rounder. More. Fine. A third rounder and P.K. Subban. More. Okay, okay. I'll throw in the king. P.K. Subban, a third rounder, and the king, Henrik Lugfist, all for Ice Nowitzki. Great. We have ourselves a deal. All right. Thanks, Trev. See ya. I wonder why he always calls me an ogre. Run, Sally! Run! All right. I've propped up the core, but it's still not enough. Why don't you try Ember? Thing one? That ragamuffin? Maybe you could... Put aside your differences. After all these years, I'm sure you'd love to hear from you. He's not such a bad guy after all. Maybe you two could become friends. <sighs> all right. Things I do for you girls. Yes. 
wow, is that really you? <laughs> After all these years. <sighs> okay, that's not gonna work. So what are other options? We could try two what? Twadikins? Uh, I hate going to that side of town. Come on, it will be fun. It'll be an adventure. <sighs> oh, all right. Overflow with our tremendous libidos And all the girls love us We're the greatest heroes Overflow with our tremendous libidos And all the girls love us We're the greatest heroes Baby. Hey. Aren't you the guy that traded Kazette soft for loot chips? <laughs> I'm here to see T Watt. Well, right this way, sugar. Big Al, I haven't seen you down here in a while. I've been real busy. Yeah, life's treating you well? Your girl still happy? We couldn't be happier! You happy with them? They're okay. And how's my main man Igor? Oh, thank you for asking, sir. I've had a really hard time of it lately. Shut up, Igor! Are you still taking on the chin at Parcheesi, night? My Parcheesi game has slid of late, but I've got more important matters to parlay. I'm here to talk business. Business can wait, bruh. Gotta learn to relax, enjoy life a little. Here. Want some straight brown heroin? <laughs> no thanks. Suit yourself. <laughs> yeah, that's the good stuff. Now what can I do for you? 
We need to make a trade, Twardy. Well, you're finally blowing it all up, are you? No. I'm going for it all. Yeah, you got balls. I'll give you that. The trade might be a little difficult. Seems though I'm trying to make the playoffs, too. So let's work something out that's mutually beneficial. I've got some nice draft picks for you. That doesn't help me at all. Give me Maroon. Maroon the baboon? I'll give you a fifth. Uh, fine. He's been a bum so far this year anyways. All right, all right. See? We're making progress here. You got what you wanted. Now give him what he needs. Ho, ho, ho. You better keep your ladies in line. Girls, shut up. Now, I want you to trade me Shea Weber. No deal, t -Watt. Oh, come on, Al. I mean, you don't need him. Your defense is awesome. I mean, Birdsey's lighting it up. You got Suter, you got Ellis, you got McAvoy. I mean, come on, Weber's hurt anyways. No way, Jose. All right. That's cool. That's cool. There's nothing else we're going to work out here, is there? No. I believe we're done here. All right, then. We're still cool? Yeah, baby. We're cool. Okay. Oh, my ladies? Yes, yes Daddy. Attack! Is everybody feeling better? Yes, yes, Al. Well, that's good. But I just don't know anymore. What about that new guy who took over the grapes team? The guy who looks exactly like Justin Bieber. Oh, yeah. All right. I'll give him a go. Hello? Hey there, new guy. How are you? Oh, uh, hi. Um, <laughs> wow. Uh, nice to meet you. I, I guess I should introduce myself. Never mind about all that. We need to make a trade. Oh, golly. That sounds like fun, but I don't know. I'm in a playoff position as we speak, and... Just don't you worry about being in any playoff position. This is not your year. Well, I, I suppose that's true. You've got a great farm team and excellent prospects, and you're all set to make a splash down the line. I am looking pretty good for the next couple of years. You can drop into the round robin bracket and fight it out for another first rounder. I guess I could go for number one. That's the spirit. Now listen, Rask is finally lighting it up for me, but I'm in desperate straits for another starting goaltender. Why don't you trade me Mike Smith? Well, I could do that. But it's going to cost you. I'll give you a 10th round pick. Oh, nice try, Mr. Al. But it's going to cost you fair market value for a starting goalie in this league. <sighs> Fine. I'll give you a... You'll give me a number one pick is what you'll do. Damn. He's good at this. All right, you've got me by the balls. I'll give you your number one pick for Smith. Deal. Deal. I got another starting goaltender. Ali, you're such a great negotiator. See if you can get another deal. Listen, Biebs. My name is Jordan. Whatever it is, we still got to make one more big move. I'm missing the final piece of the puzzle. Oh, I can see that. I also see your young stud, Forsberg. No, not Forsberg. He's having such a great season. 
and now he's injured for six long weeks. If I'm going for it all down the line, then I can use him later. And you can certainly afford to give him up now. All right, Mr. Bieber. I've got a proposition for you. A one-for-one -one swap. I'm listening. My young stud Forsberg. Yes? For prototypical werewolf viking himself, Dustin Bufflin. Deal. Deal. I, Ryan Duco, chairman of the Chiefs Hockey Club, do solemnly declare that Mr. Alexander Ranke, warlord in chief of the mighty Werewolf Vikings Championship Hockey franchise, is a titanic talent and true beacon of light upon the world. Not only can he manage a roster, but he is also a master of trading players, of trading assets, of negotiating trades, of trading prospects, of trading draft picks, of renegotiating trades, of coordinating outfits, and of trading anything really in general. Every time I see Al make a trade, it gives me a little tingle. Furthermore, I'd like to take this opportunity to point out how just mighty the werewolf Vikings truly are, run by their leader Al. Saying all this gives me great pleasure. One day when I grow up, I want to be just like Al. In closing, I solely apologize for ever doubting anything Al says, and hereby concede that Mr. Ranky is a master of fantasy hockey general managing tactician, and I have a lot to learn from but we both have one championship each, so I don't need to learn too much from them. Thank you for hearing my heartfelt testimony. Good night, or good afternoon, or morning, wherever you are. Berg, you have one new message from the Werewolf Vikings.
Samuel Taylor, thing two. Young and handsome and full of vigor for life. Alexander Ranke, you fought your way through all odds and made it to the championship round. I didn't think you had it in you. People should learn not to doubt me. It's quite the accomplishment, I'll grant you that. But your uphill battle is at an end. Strong words, coming from an upstart newbie. Newbie, yes. I am new to the league, I admit. You yourself brought me on board. I remember it well. What times those were. I came into this league only three years ago, inheriting the worst basement-dwelling pack of useless rat assets anyone's ever seen fit to call a fantasy hockey club. It was a pretty shitty team. Don't patronize me! You had it tough, I know. Started with nothing at the bottom. Yes, with you contenders at the top, jostling for playoff position, looking down your nose as that Tom Selleck's mustache will be scrounged around in the goo. The inspiration for your team name couldn't be any more powerful. Oh, I did summon the magic power of Selleck, all right. Trade after trade I made. Negotiating far-reaching deals. Looking towards the heavens and manipulating everything in my power to reach this very pinnacle upon which we now stand. And here you are. And here you are. What makes you think your ragtag group of canine misfits could ever defeat me? I'll give you one reason, Thing 2. Werewolf, Vikings, Rule. Werewolf Vikings Rule Werewolf Vikings Rule Werewolf Vikings Rule I wish I was a werewolf viking Werewolf Vikings rule! Werewolf Vikings rule! Werewolf Vikings rule! Holy shit. All right, well, congratulations. See you next year. You did good, kid. You'll get him next year. I think I'm gonna retire while I'm on top. I just don't know how I'm gonna break this to Tom. Hello, Mr. Selleck? Yeah, it's Dan. I'm sorry, we, we, we couldn't defeat the werewolf vikings. They were just way too powerful. But we'll get them next year, right? Sorry, Thing 2. Werewolf vikings rule.